Hey everyone, I'm Anthony Alfredo and welcome to the first episode of Who's Next? Today we're going out to the Midwest where we find young Cannon Posey, an 11-year-old micro sprint driver from the Pittsburgh, Indiana area. Welcome to the show, Cannon. Thank you for having me. You got it. Cannon, you were 11 years old. How young were you when you actually started racing? If you're only 11, you have all this experience. Uh, I practiced around four um, and then like started like running Red Rookie at five. Wow, that's crazy. That's it seems like drivers start earlier and earlier these days. But I know you have a nickname. Mine is Fast Pasta and yours is Bam Bam. Where did that come from? One day at uh, Kalamazoo, uh, Carson Hussabar's dad saw me and I was hitting a stick with the rock and I broke the stick. So then he just started calling me Bam Bam. And it's stuck, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, you've had a very successful quarter midget career, but which stands out to you as your biggest accomplishment, you think? Uh, and the quarter midget side of things, um, probably like Brickyard and Daytona. That's pretty epic. Those are two notorious crown jewel racetracks, uh, obviously super, a lot of history there. So to win at those is a, is a big deal. I can only imagine what that felt like. Fast forwarding, though, to 2021 and a new challenge, the micro sprints, which class are you racing and what has been the, the biggest adjustment to those from the quarter midgets? Uh, I'm in the uh, restrictor class. Um, probably the biggest adjustment is just I'm going from dirt to pavement because in restrictor, like there's no really top unless you hold it straight and getting your momentum going. And you just have most like to set it going in the corner. That sounds pretty fun. I know I didn't grow up dirt racing, but my first time on dirt was in the cup series this year. And so I did the opposite of you. I went from pavement to, uh, to dirt, but I could imagine the transition of dirt to pavement. So that must have been pretty, pretty fun to learn and adjust to. But my next question is, do you prefer wing or non-wing micros? Oh, wing. All right. Well, this year you've been very successful. You've made the A main 28 times. You have 26 top 10s, 18 top fives, and three wins. So out of those three wins and those incredible statistics, what would you say your biggest win was so far this year? Uh, probably the one before championship league because I know that I had to beat Parker and he's pretty hard to beat. Um, and he has a really fast race car every week. So whenever I beat him, I knew that I had a pretty split gap and I just had to be good going in championship week. That's awesome. It's always fun when you beat, you know, your rival or, or someone who's the who's one of the fastest guys out there. That always feels good. You've wrapped up the 2021 US 24 non-wing championship. So how did that make you feel? It made me feel really good because I like wing better, but um, in non-wing, there's not really much of a difference because it's so down on horsepower, so it's really not different. Just having the non-wing non -wing off, probably the biggest, like it don't hold you as much. I got you. Well, that's a whole different topic, aerodynamics, but I, it's pretty neat you're able to, to feel that, just slight difference in the cars and um, obviously win a championship. That's what it's all about. It's not just one win, a whole season effort goes into that. So talking about season long efforts, what are you going to be doing in 2022? Uh, we'll probably move up to uh, a class and go race with my buddy, uh, Cal Coons. Um, Parker will probably be there and that'll probably be pretty fun. That's great. Well, branching off 2022 and looking beyond, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, I hope to be running with the uh, All-Star Circuit of Champion. Neat. That's always great to set those kinds of goals for yourself and give you something to work towards. What's your favorite thing to do when you're not racing? I usually be on iRacing or like Fortnite with Parker Perry and Cal Coons. I love gaming too. That's, that's the best. I know uh, I do a lot of iRacing myself and you just answered my question. So what's your favorite car and track on iRacing? Uh, I probably like uh, the wing sprint car, and my favorite track is probably uh, Kokomo. Awesome, awesome. We're going to have to race some time on there. Who's your favorite driver? And it, this could be any discipline of racing for that matter. Uh, I like uh, Carson Hosevar, Jerry Coons, uh, obviously like you, uh, probably uh, Denny Hamlin and a couple other guys. 
Awesome. Awesome. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, who is your favorite sports team outside of racing? Uh, that's pretty hard, but uh, probably in basketball, it's probably uh, like the, pa- the Pacers. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. I respect that. You've raced all over the country between quarter midgets and micro sprints. Which is your favorite track? Uh, probably in micro side of things, US 24. And in the quarter midget, uh, probably Daytona. Daytona and US 24. I, that's awesome. I, I don't have to check out that US 24. I've, I've never been there before, but sounds pretty fun from what you're telling me. Thanks for being with us. Are there any sponsors of yours that you would like to give a shout out to before we wrap things up? Oh, one thing I want to ask you is how was it recent at Talladega? Oh, a question for me. All right. I I wasn't ready for this, Uh, but Talladega, probably one of my favorite tracks and went really well this time around, finished 10th Uh, in the spring. We actually finished 12th too. So average finish of 11th in the two races there, which I was pretty pumped about. Great day for our team. And hopefully we could just carry that momentum. Yeah. Who would you like to thank as far as your sponsors go, Cannon? Um, TCOM, Neil Slime Cares, uh, Sundar Restoration, Jason and Kimmy. They uh, work their butts off and uh, they'll help us get up and down the road. That's great. Well, there you have it, 11-year-old Cannon Posey. I'm sure you'll be hearing a lot more of this young man over the next few years. And that's it for this episode. So make sure you tune in next month to find out who's next. I'm Anthony Alfredo, and now back to the bullring.